Hi everybody, my name is Dmitry. This video is about the Tribune WordPress theme developed by WP Zoom. This magazine style theme works well on websites and blogs with a lot of content. By the end of this video you should know if Tribune is a good match for your website and if it's worth buying. Please note that this theme is updated on a regular basis, so some features described in this video might change in the future. Ready to get started? Let's go! Let's start by installing the Tribune theme on a fresh WordPress website that has no content. Go to the themes page in the appearance section. Click on the add new button and then on the upload theme button. Select the tribune.zip file that you have downloaded after buying the theme. Click on the install now button. It takes a few seconds for the theme to be installed. Click activate. On your first activation of the theme, you will be asked to add your WP Zoom license key, which you can find in your account page. This will enable one-click theme updates in your dashboard. The theme recommends two plugins, contact forms and social icons. I think it's obvious what those plugins are for, so let's skip this part. This is what an empty website looks like when Tribune is the active theme. Now allow me to import some categories and posts to help us better understand the theme's features. Let's go through the theme's features and settings. I'll start by marking two posts as featured posts. Edit the posts and look out for the Post Options panel in the bottom right side of the screen. I will check off both checkboxes for my two posts. Now we have this slideshow on the home page. Let's continue. Go to the widgets page in the appearance section. There are two widgetized areas that are displayed only on the home page featured area and home page. Tribune includes seven custom widgets. Let's look at some of them. I will add the WP Zoom Recent Posts widget to the featured area section. This will display a list of the most recent posts to the right of a slideshow. In the homepage widgetized area, let's add two instances of WP Zoom featured category widget. Now let's add the WP Zoom carousel slider to the same homepage section. It works well, though some of the styles are a little weird. The font size is too big and these arrows don't look right. That's because this widget is best used in the full width footer widgetized area. Now it looks right. And finally, the WP Zoom tabs widget area. First add some widgets to this area and then pull the WP Zoom tabs custom widget to the sidebar. This widget can also be used in the featured area section. I recommend that you take some time to analyze all these custom widgets. 
In the dashboard, we can find the WP Zoom section. Let's open the Theme Options page. You can make some layout and content adjustments, such as increasing the excerpt's length, hiding certain elements, and so on. There is also a basic advertising management system. You can easily add the code for ads in five key locations. You can also add custom code in the header and footer of a website, such as your Google Analytics code. So you don't have to edit the theme's files or use a plugin to add custom code to these locations. Now let's look at the Customize page and see what else we can do with the Tribune theme. In the Site Identity panel, we can upload a logo. In the Typography panel, we can change the fonts and font style for most elements. In the Colors panel, we can change the theme's color scheme. Just by changing some colors, you can make the theme match your brand. In the header panel, you can hide the current date under the website title, as well as enable or disable the built-in search field that is added to the main menu. In the footer panel, you can change the amount of widgetized areas or completely hide them. These are some of the main features of Tribune. So is the Tribune theme worth buying? That decision is up to you. But you should know that this theme was first released about 10 years ago. It is currently in its fourth design iteration and is still a good option for a news WordPress website. Just in 2020 it had 5 updates, so there are no signs of it being abandoned in the near future. If you found this video helpful and you want to buy the Tribune theme, I would appreciate it if you would support my work by using my affiliate link to purchase the theme. You can see the link on the screen and in the video's description. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos about WordPress, WordPress themes, plugins and news. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.